so far we have seen static and non-static, but we didn't pay too much t attention to it. So what does this static keyword mean? Well, it actually means that something, uh, that could be a block, a variable, method, or class, that it belongs to the class rather than to the instance. So we will only discuss the methods and the variables here, but say that we have a static field. A static field means that the value of this field is the same for all instances of this class. So if it changes in one place, it's changed for all instances of this class. A static method is very similar. It means that the method belongs to the class rather than to the instance. So you don't need an instance to call the method. Let's move over to um, our dog and see what I came up with that could be static for a dog. So here we have our dog class and we can see that I gave it a public static string dog's worst enemy. Clearly that's a far stretch, but it is something that all dogs would have in common. So if it changes for the one object, it changes for all of them. I also gave dog a static void print dog data. And this is just printing some very generic information about the uh, genus dog. So let's go to our main and see how we can call these methods. So if I would create a new dog over here, like this, and I see d dot, you see that I cannot see the static methods. They are not here. Neither is the static field, even though it is public. However, it is if I call it on the class. So if I say dog, the class name, and I add a dot, I can set dog's worst enemy for all instances. So here I could say, um, I don't know, super cat or something like this. And I can actually print the dog data like this. So I'm using the class name with a dot and then I'm just calling the method. And if I run this, You can see that it is printing whatever I specified in that static printing method. And I'm actually not using this one. I could get rid of this and it would still be working the very same. There's one thing to keep in mind when you work with static methods and static variables. As I already said, they are part of the class and not of the instance. I'm calling this print dog data from the dog class. And that means that I don't have an instance. So I cannot refer to anything I would prefix with this. So for example, I cannot print the name of the dog because I'm in a static uh, context, meaning that there is no instance for me available to refer to. So I only have the generic dog class and I can print the dog's worst enemy, but I cannot print anything that's not static because static depends on an instance and there is no instance in the static context. This is actually the hardest part about the static thing to get your head around. So practice a bit see if you can play around with it and see if you can actually change the uh, variable of the static field and then access it from sort of method inside um, the dog class because you can do the other way around. I mean, when you have an instance, so let's say for it, um, instance example like this, I can refer to the static context here. So I can print dog's worst enemy here. Because the other way around is possible. When I have an instance, I do have access to the class. But the other way around, that's not possible because you don't have an instance where in a static context.